Scott. Yeah. So a little tiny bird told me that when you were first asked to do Magic Valley, you said no. How did you end up doing the role? I said no because I'd already committed to a film called Sucker Punch. Yes. That a really close friend was directing, and he wrote the part for me. And it was a conflict in time. And but Sucker Punch took a long time to shoot. And at one point, we had, I had about a month and a half off from the shooting. And we shot the thing for about eight months. Yeah. And um, Heather knew the, the head casting woman at Warner Brothers and found out. And called me up and she said, you don't have any excuse now. Uh, she said, the director says it's okay. And um, I asked Zach, he said, yeah, just don't get a haircut. Heather said, I don't need to give you a haircut. So I always loved the script. It was one of the, my favorite scripts that I've read in seven or eight years at least. You know, uh, what strikes me about this is I've known you for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. and I know your connection to Idaho. And you play a sheriff in, in Gooding, Idaho. Yeah. And don't you know him? Isn't he a friend of yours in real life, or am I not? Yeah, my, actually, I'm friends with probably almost, all, maybe with the exception of two or three, almost all the sheriffs in Idaho. Because they like to have, I guess, at least one outlaw in their hip pocket. And that would be you, my friend. And, and um, but yeah, no, I, 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 I uh, the, his name is Sean Goff, and he's a great sheriff, yeah. sheriff of Gooding County, and a good guy. And I actually wear his badge in the movie. Oh no way! I, I love do. that. Yeah. I love it. And he came by and watched us shoot a little bit. And it was great. You are, without a doubt, one of America's great iconic actors, and you, more than most people know, that not every film experience is a good one. Tell me about your experience with Sucker Punch and Magic Valley. Well, with Sucker Punch, uh, I was working with Zack Snyder, who's a good friend, and I think a brilliant, visionary director. The connection with a film like that, because there's so much money being spent on it, and so many people involved in it, is um, it's more like being a part of a giant moving circus. Um, Magic Valley, on the other hand, was, you know, I, I got my pickup truck and I drove to Twin Falls and uh, checked into the, the, into the motel wow. and, 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 and uh, went to work every day simply because I love the script. Uh, and believe in both Heather, the producer, and Jeff Zinn, the director. And so, I mean, it, the term labor of love is, is way overused. But in the case of this film, that's exactly what it was. Producer Heather Ray, just a, just a minute. And one of the things that she said that struck me was, Scott Glenn is my brother. And I love that. How important is it for you as an actor to have that kind of relationship with a producer? It certainly doesn't happen every time. No, it's a gift when something like that happens. It's a gift to be able to make, actually make a movie. In, I mean, I've lived in Idaho going on 33 years. For 32 years, my driver's license, and if the truth be known, my concealed weapons permit has said Idaho. Yes. And, uh, you know, and I've got, this is where my life is, this is where Carol and I raised our kids. And to be able to, to do what I do uh, here, just, you know, 80 miles south of where I live, is unbelievable. I, mean, I hope it happens again. Yeah, Idaho, there's a lot of filmmaking going on in Idaho. It has so much to offer. Yeah, it, it, it does. And um, I mean, the other the other side of this whole thing is, and it's a, maybe a, you know, horribly self-serving to say this, but I've seen the movie, and it's good. Oh, no, I know the movie's good. I know the movie's good. So, and, and here's what's interesting about the movie for me. America knows you as one of those steely-eyed, bright stuff, Silverado, Silence of the Lambs kind of guys. The character you play in Magic Valley is not like that at all. No. Who is he? The sheriff of Gooding County, but just a real, live, 
human being who, whose day is not that dissimilar to anyone else. Is he flawed? Who isn't? <laughs> well said. But it's you no, know, it's a, it, it's an interesting movie because without giving away the punch of the film, sort of you know philosophically. What the film says is you wake up in the morning and your life, the things that you think are really important to you in your life, may well, by the end of the day with one phone call, wind up meaning nothing. So that, that there's a, what I loved about the film is that there's a, that there's a lot of comedy in it. Being really funny, loose, unpredictable, and then it turns on you. And that's that makes, all I'll say about it. That, that makes for a great film. Yeah. Um, you know, anybody who knows you and anybody who's a fan, and everybody here is, including me, you've made some of the most important movies in, in American film. You don't have to say a thing, because I know you just hate those kind of compliments, but that's a fact you have. And yet, you're really attached to the independent film. You're, you're one of the true lights of independent filmmaking. Why are you so attached to that? Because when there's not a lot of money being spent on a project, uh, you don't, you're not dealing with corporate insecurity, which means you're allowed to go outside of the what you call iconic kind of thing. I mean, if somebody is spending, I don't know, say 90 million bucks on a movie, and they're going to cast it, they're going, to, they're going to be going through in front of a board of directors at the end of the year, and they're going to have to explain why the movie did or didn't make money, and why did you put that person in, why did you put that person in, so you're, what you're expected to do in those circumstances, to me, is not really so much restrictive, but but it gets to be a little, a little repetitive mm -hmm. to do the same thing again and oh yeah, you want the top steely eye, you want the yeah. captain of the Dallas, or you yeah, want yeah. the mountain climbers. With independent films, you can break out of that. You, you're not stuck with, uh, you're not a corporate investment anymore. So with a film like Magic Valley, or a film that I just finished, uh, called Paperboy, that uh, Lee Daniels, the guy who directed Precious Man. When you work in those kind of venues, then you're allowed to like kind of break out of yourself and go go further than than you normally have. Everybody, come and see this festival. You see Magic Valley.